Hello? You in there? <laughs> 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 I, I hope when I come back you all still love me and uh <laughs> <laughs> we saving? There we go! Hey, hey there it is! Yeah. Well, fucking thing, fuck you! <laughs> fucking Emo Orchestra 3, 1, 2, 3! Emo Orchestra! Alright, places everybody! Hey, Jeremy, what's your shadows creeping crowd? Sings a song, a tale of love in the realm of the deceased. Where two songs live and spirits glide, where the dead so close to lie. A story where the living and the deep are the So NS Design, we met Kristen and I and Evan went out to Nam uh, and with the hope of finding a brand that aligned with what our missions were, what our values are, sees what we're doing as something cool and unique and different. And you know, we, we met with a couple different companies because we're you know we're a, a rock orchestra and there's not many of us, not many tours out there like like what we're doing. When we were speaking with Corey and the other people at NS, it was, I mean, it was like two peas in a pod right away. We got along really well. They understood what we were going for, what we were trying to do, how we're trying to inspire the next generation of artists to play a stringed instrument, but not just strings, to play woodwinds or a guitar or drums or whatever. It's a very ambitious tour. I, I got to tell you, I raised my eyebrows looking at the tour dates and I'm like, can you believe they're pulling this off? This is amazing. And it's not your first time, so. That's what makes it even, coo even cooler. I do think these instruments are really easy to maintain on a tour. It's really nice just having like an electric instrument where we're not dealing with all like the other sounds on stage. It's nice to be able to adjust the bridge like from gig to gig depending on the humidity. I haven't had to adjust the truss rod yet. We've been in a bunch of different climates so the instrument itself is pretty stable and the tuners do stay in tune so it's made it for a really easy tour. So NS actually made this awesome metallic violet violin for me to use. Um, I'm playing Concertmaster this set, which is the first violin, and I get to shred on this every single night. It's super rock and roll, very sleek, very cool, much cooler than an acoustic instrument uh, in the way that it looks, and it's really fun. Also, my hair used to be purple, so I used to take pictures with. <laughs> One of my favorite things about these instruments is that the tone that you get coming out of this port on the back, having the extra tone knob on the instrument itself. What I found is that you get such a consistent quality of sound coming through your instrument and of course coming into our ears as well, which means having that simple sound gives you a lot more versatility on the electronic side to do all sorts of cool effects with it. I think this is an instrument for rock and roll. The black look is sleek. Uh, the Even the end pin matching, it's just sleeker, a little more mobile. I can rock around it, which I think is really hard to do on a, a big old bulky acoustic cello. This is nimble enough where I can sort of push it to one side and bang my head until my head hurts. I am extremely impressed at how stable these have been uh, in terms of an acoustic instrument you have to baby, you have to really take good care of it and make sure that it's well maintained. This gets thrown into its case, thrown into a vault and then onto a trailer and it is driven around all night and then it gets thrown out of the trailer, out of the vault and on to the stage and it's almost exactly as stable as it was the night before. Just a quick tune up and it's ready to go and it's been that way for this whole tour. Let me see you start a war, start a riot. Something that I know now, that I wish I knew on the previous tour, um, I guess by the end that, you know, 
it's not the band and the orchestra. It's a whole collective unit of people trying to make music together on stage. And I think we were sort of blindsided by the fact that like you could put two different things and just smash them together and it would work. Like all of these people need to understand what the other parts of the puzzle are for them to understand what the show is actually supposed to be. And I think we started to figure that on the last tour and we've definitely got our footing on this tour. So it's really going to be exciting to see what happens as we continue through and continue to grow what we're trying to do.